Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Game and video size does matter, and it's something that AMD are painfully aware. The size of PCBs for graphics cards is a bit of a problem if you've got a smaller case. In other words, a small form factor. But according to rumours, there's an article link if you want to check it out, which of course uh, is in the video description. The R9-390X, also known of course as the Fiji XT, is going to be considerably shorter than previous high-end cards from either AMD or Nvidia. So, to give you an idea, the R9-290X height can vary quite considerably. It's about 114mm on the smaller side, up to 142mm, depending on the third-party cooler, while its length can get up to about 300mm, um, and indeed, when we're actually reviewing the R9 290X Sapphire Tri-X, it's a bloody long name. I wish manufacturers would reduce it a little bit, and that is me reducing it to be fair. Um, we actually had the card almost not fit. It barely fit by the skin of the teeth. We had to rearrange a couple of hard drive locations to give you an idea of one of our benchmark rigs. And it's simply because not only of the third party coolers and the, the heat of course generated by modern cards, but also some of it is to do with the fact that the memory chips, um, when you think about it, there's a bunch of GDDR5 memory chips, for example you can have like 16 on them, um, front and rear, depending obviously on the amount of memory, for example, whether it's 4, whether it's 6, whether it's 8, depending on the GPU. But Higher bandwidth memory um, doesn't really work like that. It's connected to the GPU via means of an interposer, um, and it's just several chips. Just four chips will do the job. So because of that, it shrinks the size of the PCB. You can actually fit everything on a smaller PCB, and obviously you don't need so many voltage regulators as well for various purposes. And so that's a good thing for users who don't really require, or don't really want, should I say, not require, but don't really want a massive GPU in there, which is pretty nice for small form factors, and I realise that many people have like huge, massive cases, particularly if you're water cooling, but let's say you've got your PC in the living room and you want to use it for other things, just primarily for gaming, then it's nice, small form factors can be kind of cool. So, it's certainly not the most interesting piece of news is not the most exciting it's not going to make you jump up and down on um on your seat it's not as exciting as for example the 640 gigabytes per second of bandwidth for the 4096 shaders or the fact that the supposed fiji vr gpu is going to be featuring and just an insane ridiculous 17 t-flops of computing performance but it's quite nice i'm very 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 curious how it's going to interfere with the amount of power that the GPU uses as well. I wonder what the minimum power requirements are going to be for the GP for this uh, for the Fiji. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.